I'm your host, Sean McKenzie. Thanks for joining me once again on my channel on data engineering. In this episode, we go back to our Microsoft Access playlist. We're going to take a look at indexes and how to use indexes to improve the speed of our queries and lookups and things like that. And now there are quite a few gotchas when you're using indexes and, and we're going to explore a bit of that today. Uh, but we're going to take a look at how to apply indexes on not just one field, but multiple fields so that your lookups are super fast. Without further ado, let's get to it. Looking for resources for your project? Make sure to check out the additional links in the description. Okay, so for this episode, what I wanted to do is take a look at indexes and I've downloaded from the British Library uh, these tables that have detailed records of recordings in them and names of, of artists and things like that. And uh, as you can see, this one particular table has uh, 1.3 million records in it. Um, you know, I can scroll down through through these and you can sort of see that there's a ton of records in there and, you know, a million records is is not a huge table, uh, but it's big enough um, that, you know, you'd, you'd certainly want to start to index uh, your, your uh, fields if you were experiencing slowdowns in your application. And so uh, you can see this BL record ID here, um, that one is actually uh, was indexed on the import. So Access made some decisions for me when I did the import. Um, and then there's all these other fields here. Um, you know, there's a title, there's, you know, there's more information, there's composer information uh, in this table. And uh, if I scroll over to the right here, you can see there's some year fields and then it sort of ends with, uh, there is an ISBN column, uh, which we'll maybe take a look at. And uh, there's uh, some other information as well. And so I'll close that. I'm not gonna save the, the changes to layout. Uh, and then we can get started. Now I'm just going to go to the create ribbon here and I'm going to choose query design and I will just close that pop-up that comes up and I'm just going to drag this table that I would like to see onto my query design and I'll grab another table um, that I can use in an example of what you might see in a real world situation which is you might join some tables now we could <clears throat> we could join using the BL record ID there but in many cases uh, you have queries where the joins are not uh, primary keys you're joining based on some you know uh, additional employee ID or something like that that isn't in the actual key um, and uh, and so you might um, be joining based off of those and and you you might notice that you have very slow query per, query performance now in this case I don't think this will be that slow um, but uh, it sort of gives you an idea of what you might uh, you might experience for that and so as you can see I grabbed some fields from the first table and I'll grab um, maybe one or two fields from the second table and uh, but then what we're going to do is we're going to we're actually going to take um, and we're going to use that ISBN there and we're going to sort of join those using the uh, designer here. And uh, so I'll join based off of ISBN and we'll also join off of the publication date. And so um, that's sort of something you might see in a real example. And uh, so now we've got two, two different um, uh, joins on there and we're using that names table and the detailed records table and we'll be getting uh, records from that. And so I'll save this and I'm just going to call it matching ISBN or something like that and it will go OK. And uh, what we see is uh, that if we take this one and we, and we run it, um, then, you, you know, this query uh, looks like it takes a minute, but it's okay. Um, but you might have a query that is just super slow. Um, 
and and that's where an index might help you. Now, indexing can be kind of an art form, and uh, you'll get used to how to how to implement them. And uh, often it's if you know that there's uh, one particular field that gets used a lot in either lookups on your forms, like your data entry forms, and you have to look up based off some code um, that is not a primary key, uh, or if you you know uh, are using them in joins or, or things like that. I've just found uh, ACDC in here, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> um, but um, basically, when you notice that there's something in your program that's very slow, um, that's when you might consider adding an index to a field if you notice that the slowdown is related to um, a particular field. And often that's the case. Um, there are some gotchas though. You have to be very careful not to over index and, or put too many indexes on. Um, but but uh, we can come back to that. So what I did there is I went into the design of the table and I just clicked on the indexes button at the top. And as you can see, uh, this table was auto created during the import process and it did have some indexes on it. It had one primary key index on, on ID, uh, but the, and the other two, you know, Access just thought those would be good, good uh, fields to have an index on and maybe they are, but for our uh, query that we were um, looking at or for our situation we wanted to add uh, an index and what I'm showing you here is I'm showing you how to do a two field index so that uses two fields um, that get indexed um, together um, to make it super fast and so um, we're going to use the ISBN and the publication date um, together and so you can see also that uh, in the bottom left of the pop-up there, um, you can choose whether or not it's a unique index or if it's uh, uh, you know it's non-unique um, and or if it allows uh, you know duplicates and things like that. And we can go and take a look at each individual field here uh, in our table as I scroll down. Sorry, the window is so small, but you can see um, that on each. Uh, each of the fields it says whether or not it's indexed or not but when we go to the field that we did uh, index you can see that it said that it said no it was not indexed and so you have to be careful sometimes there are indexes that are on multiple fields and the individual field entry might not show that now I'm going to go ahead and go to the second table that we're going to use that the names table so we're using the detailed records table and we're using the names table and I'm going to create the same uh, an index on the same fields in that table as well. You could imagine if this was your production system that you would use a couple of fields or maybe three fields for you know whatever. Uh, and I've created an index on that one as well. Um, so now we've got two fields in the ISBN year index, and I'll save that, and it builds the index there. And uh, and so that. Um, theoretically is going to make an improvement on your things like queries and lookups and things like that and that's really uh, that's really where the index uh, indexes shine now you like I said before you do have to be careful um, that uh, you don't put too many indexes on your tables because they have a certain amount of overhead so there's kind of like an art form to it and you can get better at it with practice and that's really what you should do. So in this case, we have the, the two joins there, um, and they seem to perform fairly well with the index, um, and uh, that's one way that you can add indexes. Now, if you're indexing only one field, uh, for example, I've added a couple tables here. Um, I'm going to use this titles table, I suppose, and uh, you can see this titles table has the the British Library record ID and a bunch of other stuff on it as well and um, you know ending with the uh, British uh, the I think it's the shelf um, address and the data is uh, kind of like the other table it has 1.29 million records uh, in this table 
Um, so it's not, not a tiny table, it's not a huge table, but uh, it's definitely getting into sort of like the size where you might want to index something. If you do a particular lookup um, frequently that uses a, a field. And so we might use something like, um, you know, in this case, we could use the publication um, date or year uh, because that is something that might be looked up very frequently. The other um, ID columns are already indexed in this table, and so uh, we'll add an, uh, an index to the publication date uh, field, and to do that we can just go into the design of our table, and we can just click on the field that is needing an index, and then we can go to these tabs here on the, on the bottom here, and you can see there's a general tab and this tab has an indexed uh, field on it or attribute and we can choose whether or not we you know we want this field to be uh, duplicates okay or no no duplicates in this case we're going to say duplicates okay because there are in fact um, many recordings in, in a particular year and then I'll close this table and I'll say yes to save it and you can see it built the index there um, which was uh, that was the little progress bar that you saw uh, at the bottom so now what we can do is we can sort of test it out we can go to our create uh, ribbon and I'll say uh, query design and I'll close the pop up there and then I'm just gonna drag onto our table or onto our query here I'll drag a table on and I'll grab all of the fields and I do that by double clicking on the star so that means my query is going to return all all of the fields and then I'll grab that publication date um, and I'll I'll put that in there and I'll click click it off to show because it's already included in the star of all of them if I put something like 1944 in there um, look how fast that query is it just bam and that's out of uh, one you know uh, over one million records um, and so it's really really handy um, definitely um, it will be faster especially if you're using that field in a join somewhere um, it will definitely make it faster if you're using it for reports and things like that um, which is really really great and you know this is these have been very simple examples uh, but you can imagine uh, if you've got some pretty massive queries somewhere that uh, have some unindexed fields in them unindexed fields uh, then you might see some huge improvements if you do a little bit of indexing and like I said it's an art form and do not overdo it don't put too many indexes on your tables Use them sparingly if you can, um, and they can make a huge difference for you. And I can definitely tell you in my own experience, I have seen situations where there are reports or, or forms that are excruciatingly slow, like we're talking minutes or like 10, you know, 10, over 10 minutes to run for a report or something that have been solved where uh, you just included a new index and it was super fast. Oh wow, look at that. And I knew time travel existed. Looking to see more topics in this area? Make sure to check out my Patreon. The link is in the description.